So I'm here at my parents' place. I'm putting in a set of kitchen faucets for them, Waltec. That's probably the the best economical faucet that's on the market, as far as I'm concerned. It's uh, it's hard to beat the price and the product itself. Itself, it's been around for years. A little tip that I'm going to give out here. It's fairly simple. I see they didn't do it. People who installed the faucet the last time. Around here, regardless of the plate that's on the bottom of the faucet itself, um, when it comes to a kitchen cupboard, the countertop itself, uh, you should need some plumber's putty. Just take a little of it, like so. Make a roll like that. Take it, just wind it around the faucet. What that does, that prevents the water from going down and destroying the cupboard, or the countertop. And I've seen that numerous times where people have installed faucets and a year later the faucets are loose again. And the reason being is the water's gotten down there and it's only press board that that, uh, that the countertop is made out of. So in here there's a foam gasket. There's no water going anywhere, but I'm still going to stick a little putty down there just to uh, flatten out some old bugs and so on and so forth. But grow down there and it's very simple to do for the amount of time and effort it takes definitely worth the definitely worth the effort that's it we'll lay that, that like that our blue is gold another thing when they installed this sink to begin with the holes weren't lined up and uh, throws it out a little bit but we'll just keep the faucet to the front and that'll be fine. Just press that down to place. We'll put our tie down so that'll pull all the putty out and you'll be good to go. I always use a little plumber's putty when you're installing faucets like that. It'll prevent any water from going down into the countertop and that countertop can flare out from three quarters of an inch or five eighths now to an inch and a quarter, inch and a half once the water gets on it. So that's just a little tip of the day. Have a great day.